Hello and welcome. In today's class, we'll look at how we can write a Java program to rotate a given square matrix by 90 degrees clockwise. This question appeared in IUC Computer Science 2015 practical paper. According to the question, we need to write a program to declare a square matrix A of order M by M where M is the number of rows and the number of columns, such that M must be greater than 2 and less than 10. Accept the value of M as user input. Allow the user to input integers into this matrix. Next, perform the following tasks. We need to display the original matrix. Then, we need to rotate the matrix 90 degrees clockwise as shown below. So you will notice over here that after rotating the matrix 90 degrees clockwise, the first row of the original matrix becomes the last column of the new matrix. The second row becomes the second last column and the third row becomes the third last column. So this is the order that we need to maintain when we rotate a matrix 90 degrees clockwise. We also need to find the sum of the elements of the four corners of the matrix. Here are some examples. When M is 3, and let's say these are our values in the original matrix, then firstly we display the original matrix and then we display the rotated matrix. Once again, you can notice here that the first row becomes the last column, second row, second last column, third row, third last column. And sum of the corner elements is 20 because 9 plus 3, 12, plus 1, 13, plus 7, 20. Here is another example when M is 4 and these are the elements of the matrix. Then after rotation, this is the new arrangement and the sum of the corner elements are also displayed in the output. And in case we give an invalid value for M, it should display size out of range. So this is the question. Let's now start writing a Java program to solve this question. So here I have created a file rotate.java. Let's start writing the program. Let's start with the import statement. Create the class. Rotate. We create the main function. Then we create the scanner object. We ask for the value of M. Once the value of M is received, we check for its validity. So in case M is less than 3, or M is greater than 9. In that case, we print the error message. Size out of range. And we return from main. Otherwise, we create the array, the matrix of size M, the square matrix. And we create another array, let's say B, where we will be storing the new arrangement after rotating the matrix 90 degrees clockwise. This will have the same dimension.
Next, we need to fill our original matrix. Enter matrix elements. We run a nested loop for that. In the i and j index, we input the values. Let's also create a function called display that will help us in displaying the matrix. So it will receive a matrix and once again using nested loop we print it in matrix format. Now we won't be able to access M so that's why we will write mat.length here to get access to the length of the matrix, the dimension of the matrix. Now, in the main function, we display a heading message original matrix and we call the display function to print the matrix. We pass the matrix to this function. Next, we need to rotate this matrix. So, when we saw the example, we found out that the first row becomes the last column. So, for the destination matrix, let's say P and Q are the new index values. So, P will keep track of the row index, whereas Q will keep track of the column index. And so, I will write Q as m minus 1 because we need to start from the last column and this will be the index of the last column m minus 1. i is equal to 0, i less than m, i plus plus and for every column we start from the first row that's why p will be initialized every time to 0 and j is equal to 0 j less than m j plus plus. Now here we will use p and q as the index for the new matrix and i and j for the original matrix and each time the row will increase also that's why we have given here post increment and once this inner loop completes q minus minus because from the last column it will move to the second last column then it will go to the third last column and so on so this is the code for rotating our matrix. Once the matrix has been rotated, we can display the new matrix. Matrix after rotation. Once again, we take help of the display function 
and we pass B here. Now we also had to find the sum of the corner elements. So for that I can write int sum equals B of 0, 0. This will be the first corner plus 0th row but last column. Then we have B of last row, first column and B last row, last column. And then we can print sum of the corner elements is equal to sum. With this we have completed our program. Let's check it out. So we head over to the command prompt. We compile it. Now there is one semicolon missing. Let's head over to this line, line 29. We can see semicolon is missing. So let's add this semicolon. Clear the screen and again compile. Yes. Now let's execute. Let's give the value of MS3 and enter the elements as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And you can see how the first row, 1, 2, and 3, has become the last column. 4, 5, 6, the second row, has become the second last column. And 7, 8, 9, the last row, becomes the third last column. And the corner elements is coming to 20 because 1 plus 7, 8, plus 3, 11, 11 plus 9, 20. And if we give an invalid range, it displays size out of range. So I hope you have understood how to solve matrix rotation 90 degrees clockwise in Java. If you still have any questions, you can always get in touch with me through comments. Thank you for watching and see you soon in the next class.